And all new this half hour, prosecutors announcing a shocking case of neglect involving two parents in New Jersey. They are accused of decades of neglect of their daughter. She was found dead, dressed in a halter top made from trash bags. They live in Garwood, New Jersey. Eyewitness News reporter Nina Pineda is live at the prosecutor's office. She's in Elizabeth. Nina. Jeff, she got weaker and weaker, and eventually she just wasted away. And when you see the parents, the parents accused of letting their daughter die in her care, you'll notice they are both overweight. Stark contrast to their daughter, who was 5'7 and weighed just 97 pounds. Is there anything you want me to tell everyone about these things you're being accused of? A mother so afraid of germs, investigators say she covered her house in plastic, made her husband and daughter wear plastic, and defecate and wash up in a laundry room sink. And you're being accused of some really horrific things. This is a chance to tell us what happened to Emily. A father who pled guilty, unwilling to spare his only child from his wife's madness. Ed Erico admitted he wouldn't even let his own daughter see a doctor or eat enough to stay alive, even though he knew she could die. Her mom and dad uh, fed her what they wanted to feed her. Uh, they clothed her pretty much in plastic. Emily Erico would die in her parents' house after 25 years of being severely neglected and abused, left in a crib through childhood, fed a controlled diet and not permitted to socialize. Neighbors describe 62-year-old mother Ermina Erico as severely mentally ill. She didn't want anybody touching anything. Um, it was just baby powder and scouring powder was all over the stove, the whole inside. They taped sheets to the windows, there was no air conditioning, no heat, no nothing in the refrigerator except these granola bars. Malnourished and developmentally stilted, Emily would remarkably get a degree from King College with honors, but move back to this house of horrors in Garwood after graduation in 2004. She was kept on a constant basis in her bedroom. Uh, and that the mother would actually sleep in front of her room. She didn't leave the house for three years. The upstairs neighbor never even knew Emily existed. She never comes out of the apartment. Never. We didn't know she had a daughter. The medical examiner ruled Emily's death due to malnutrition and anorexia. The Union County prosecutor doesn't believe it was either parent's intent to kill their daughter. They're both charged with neglect and ordered to get the psychiatric help they both obviously so desperately need. Live in Elizabeth, Nina Pineda, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Nina, thanks.